strength, the ability of the muscles to generate force against physical object. Push up. The purpose of push up is to measure strength of upper extremities. Equipment, exercise mats or any clean mat. Procedure. For the tester, A. Lying down on the mat, face down in standard push-up position, palms on the mat, about shoulder width, fingers pointing forward, and legs straight, parallel, and slightly apart, with the toes supporting feet. For the tester, for boys, straighten the arms, keeping the back and knees straight, then lower the arms until there is a 90 degree angle at the elbows. Upper arms are parallel to the floor. For the girls, with knees in contact with the floor, straighten the arms, keeping the back straight, then lowers the arms until there is a 90 degree angle at the elbows. Upper arms are parallel to the floor. C. Perform as many repetition as possible, maintaining a cadence of 20 push-ups per minute, 2 seconds going down and 1 second going up. D. A maximum of 50 push-up for boys and 25 push-up for girls. For the partner, as the tester assumes the position of push-up, start counting as the tester lowers his or her body until he or she reaches 90 degree angle at the elbow. The partner should stand in front of the tester and his or her eyes should be close to elbow level to accurately judge the 90 degrees bend. B. Make sure that the performer executes the push-up in correct form. C. The test is terminated when the performer can no longer execute the push-ups in the correct form, is in pain, voluntarily stop, or cadence is broken. Scoring. Record the number of push-ups made. Basic plank. The purpose is to measure the strength or the stability of the core muscles. Equipment, exercise mats, or any clean mat, stopwatch, or time piece. Procedure. For the tester, assume a push-up position, rest body on forearms with palm and fingers flat on the floor. Elbows are aligned with shoulders. B. Legs are straight with ankles, knees, and tights touching together. C. Support weight on forearms and toes. Make sure that your back is flat. Head, neck, and spine are in straight line. D. Keep abdominals engaged or contracted. Do not let stomach drop or allow hips to rise. For the partner, A. Ensure the availability of a mat, smooth flooring, or any that can protect the forearms. B. Give the signal start or go and start press the time piece. C. Make sure that the back of the head, neck, Spine and ankles are in a straight line. D. Give two warnings. E. Stop the time when the performer can no longer hold the required position or when the performer has held the position for at least 90 seconds. Holding the plank position beyond 90 seconds is considered unnecessary. Scoring. Record the time in the nearest second or minute. Maximum of 90 seconds for boys and girls.
zipper test to test the flexibility of the shoulder girdle equipment tape measure or ruler procedure Left arm over right arm. Sit and reach. Purpose to test the flexibility of the lower extremities, particularly the trunk. Equipment tape measure or meter stick. Procedure for the tester A. Sit on the floor with back, head, and shoulder flat on the wall. Feet are 12 inches apart. B. Interlock thumb sand position the tip of the finger on the floor without bending the elbows. C. After the partner has positioned the zero point of the tape measure or meter stick, at the top of the middle fingers, the tester starts the test by sliding the hand slowly forward without jerking, trying to reach the farther, farthest distance possible without bending the knees. D. Bouncing or jerking movement is not allowed. E. Do it twice. For the partner, A. As the tester assumed the B procedure, position the zero point of the tape measure at the tip of the middle fingers of the tester. B. See to it that the knees are not bent as the performer slide the farthest distance that he could. C. Record the farthest distance reached in centimeters. Scoring. Record the farthest distance between the two trials to the nearest 0.1 centimeters.